Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another edition of Rebuke All Devils Radio. And uh, this story right here, man, this is coming out of uh, Fox 5 News. Damn. Alex Abraha mauled to death by dogs during the ledge break-in. Man, brother, what a sad way to go. And we know one of the Ten Commandments is thou should not steal. A Georgia man returned home to find that his two dogs had mauled Alex Abraha to death. According to Atlanta Fact Fox 5 News, the homeowner found Abra's body on his front porch in Noonan on the morning of September 24th. Authorities said that based upon the evidence inside the home, Abraha had been inside the house when they believed he was mauled by the owner's two pit bull terriers. The 21-year-old made it outside the porch where he was later found deceased by the homeowner. After finding Abra dead on his porch, the homeowner called the police to report a dead man on his property. Coweta County Sheriff's Office deputies arrived at the home around 10.30 a.m. The Georgia Bureau of Investigations Homicide Division assisted the Coweta County Sheriff's deputies at the scene as they tried to determine how Abra died. Fox 5 reporter Doug Evans posted pictures of the dogs on Twitter before they were taken away by Coweta County Animal Services, overseen by the Coweta County Department of Corrections. Coweta deputies say two dogs mauled an intruder who the homeowner later discovered dead on the front porch. I will have the latest on the case on Fox 5 News at 5 and 6. And there's a link to the pictures right there. And here are the dogs, and you can see that they still covered in blood. And, you know, I got a pit bull, a female pit, and they vicious, boy. They do not play. They very territorial, you know what I mean? And they're, they're good guard dogs. You can't give pit bulls a, a bad rep. I, and a lot of people have dogs, no matter what kind of dog, just for that reason, for protection, to alert, you know, dogs bark in the backyard if they see something, hear something, you know? And, uh, yeah, those are the dogs right there, man. And my, my, hey, man, my heart go out to old boy Alex. You made a wrong decision, you know? Uh, you know what I'm saying? I hope you can rest in peace, you know? But you died doing something wrong. That's the sad part about it. You died in your wickedness. The cause of death was determined to be a mauling by the medical examiner after an autopsy was performed. It is unknown why he was at the home and authorities said that the homeowner didn't know Abra, Abraha. The two dogs were seized by Coweta County Animal Services. The investigation is still ongoing, and the fate of the two dogs has yet to be released. No charges are expected to be filed against the homeowner for Abraha's death. What do you think about this story? Should the dogs be put down, or should they be returned to the homeowner? Let us know. No, nah, I think the dogs should be returned to the homeowners. The dogs didn't do anything wrong. The dogs is at home minding their own business, you know? And I and I seen the case not too long ago on YouTube, and I should have done a story on it, man. It was a brother that had killed a, uh, a European burglar inside his home, and they charged that brother with murder, you know? And and that's 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 real crazy because what, if somebody break into your house and they trying to attack you or even if they just break into your house and startle you, you mean to tell me that you don't have a a, a, a right to defend yourself or your home and you wake up and there's a, a total stranger off in there and you don't know this person, you didn't give this permission this person permission to be in your house and you can't you can't blast them. And what if what if he wasn't trying to kill him? What if it was dark and 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 the, the dude was running at him and he shot at him and, and the shot just hit him in the head or or wherever it hit him at? It's just you know what I'm saying. Some of these things I think is is, is uh, ridiculous. You know you should be able to protect you should be able to protect yourself at home. If you at home minding your business and someone break into your house or come in your house and try to hurt you, you should be able to protect yourself. No question about it. You see, because you're at home, you're not the one out committing a felony. Last time I checked, breaking and entering is a felony. Last time I checked, trying to assault someone or attack someone is a felony. 
So how can someone commit a felony by breaking into your house and then try to commit another felony by attacking you and then you get in trouble for their conduct? How, how all of a sudden are they the victim now? So, you know, these things is a trip sometimes, man. And, you know, I sure hate that the brother had to go out like that, but it's not the dog's fault. And I tell you what, <laughs> my pit be in the house when I leave, right along with the house alone. So if the pit bull don't get you, the police go get you. <laughs> and with that being said, drop your comments down below. <laughs> don't, like, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click on that notification bell. And also, if I'm at home and you try to come up in here, I'm going to get you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then the police going to come get you. Because after I get you, I'm going to call the police on, on you. You know what I'm saying? Let them know exactly where you at. You know what I'm saying? And they going to come get you. So, and the moral of any story is crime does not pay. Get you a job and go to work like the rest of us and make your money. And then guess what? When you make your money legally from the sweat of your brow, man, you can buy anything you want. And you can enjoy the fruits of your hard labor. Shalom.